Hey friends, today I want to talk about broadening your definition of service or expanding your definition of service. And, you know, I made another video about these three questions that I tend to ask myself at the end of the day about what I did that day that I enjoyed, what I learned, and how I served the world. And I'm really enjoying this as a mindful review practice and I've started asking these questions on Twitter in the evenings, um, one at a time. And recently something I've done is if I'm hanging out in person with someone, it's a friend of mine on my pilgrimage, I will ask them these questions in the evening and we'll kind of trade answers to them. And something I've noticed that's happened a couple of times is the first time I do this with a friend, when I get to the service question, how did you serve others? How did you benefit the world? they'll be sort of stumped and say like I don't I don't know what I did to serve others and have a hard time answering the question and you know because I'm living with them or near them I'll have spent some time with them that day and I'll remember things that they did that maybe helped me or that I saw help other people and I'll be like well you did this thing and you did that thing and they're like oh yeah I did do that and I'm not 100% sure what's happening for my friends in this instance, but my sense is that the word service just has a really high bar and <clears throat> our sort of mental model of service is something like, you know, helping the homeless or feeding the poor or curing cancer or solving global warming and these very legible, needed, um, service areas that are well known and are connected to some discernible collective need that we have either locally in our communities or globally on the planet. And that's kind of what service means to people is helping others in these really legible needed ways. And that's fine. Those are good ways of serving the world and we should do those things. But I think it's worth broadening and expanding our definition of service to include smaller things or less legible things and more local things. So a really good example, I think, is just smiling at someone. Say you're happy, <clears throat> you're going for a walk, it's a beautiful day, and your heart is alive, it's full, filled with love, and you're smiling. And you walk by someone and you smile at them. Now that's small, it just takes a second it's pretty easy for you to do, it's free, it doesn't cost anything, but that imparts happiness to someone else and spreads happiness in the world. And, you know, in the extreme case, if that person's really sad or feeling really lonely, just being reminded, hey, there are other people out there and they care about me and they're happy could really make a big difference in someone's life. And it may not, it may, it may just be, oh, they're also happy and you smile at them and then you get to share that together. And that's, that's fine as well. But a smile can have a very large impact, even though it's something small and easy and quick and free and, you know, isn't legible in a way that you could make a nonprofit built around smiling at people or something like that. Um, it's not going to directly lead to curing cancer or saving the planet from global warming or, I don't know, a lot of people are worried about AI safety these days. It's not going to solve that issue, but it is a real service to someone and it is a real benefit to the world. It makes you happier. It makes other people happier. And if we can include something like smiling at other people as an act of service, then the whole range of what is included in service, what could possibly have benefit, be of benefit to others in the world, expands very dramatically. And, you know, all, every day when I ask myself this question, there's all kinds of things that I did to help the world that I think are of benefit to others that improve my local community or the world and just including all of that from hey it's just a simple smile at someone to all the way to the more traditional things and um, just really reflecting on our actions and in particular seeing the effect that our actions have hey every day I'm living and every day I'm having impacts on people what are the things that I did that had positive impacts on others that had positive impacts on my communities that have positive impacts on the world and they don't have to be huge. 
But if we don't honor the ways in which our actions are already helping other people, that are already helping the communities that we're part of and our friends and family members, then larger scale service is, is not going to feel possible for us, is not going to feel available, but it's a continuum. And it's really worth celebrating even these seemingly small acts because something very small like smiling someone can actually have a huge impact. You don't know. And just asking someone a question can be of benefit to them. Just spending time with someone, just listening to someone, doing something small that's nice for them, like cleaning up after them or, you know, tidying their space or, you know, all kinds of things can be very kind to someone or of benefit and help improve the world. And it's really worth noticing that the things we're already doing have positive impacts, that we're already being of service and benefiting others, and then really celebrating that. Like, wow, I, I really helped someone. I really helped the world. And that honoring that gives us the motivation to keep being of service, to look for more ways to help people. Because we see, hey, that really made a difference to them, to someone that I care about, and it made me happier. It made the world a better place. And it starts to build this intrinsic motivation to keep being of service. And the scale of it or the legibility of it matters less and less and you just want to look for ways to help other people to be of benefit to the world it doesn't matter so much you know how legible it is to other people or how big of an impact it seems to have in sort of a quantifiable way you're just like hey this this is a good thing it makes other people happier it makes me happier it makes the world a better place how much of that can i do how much good can i do today with my life and if we live in that way where every day we're asking ourselves what good can I do today? And at the end of the day, we're asking, what good did I do today? Then that's a beautiful life. That's a really beautiful life. And on the scale of a life where you've lived for years and decades, orienting towards service, looking for opportunities to help people, that actually will have a tremendous impact, an absolutely enormous impact. And one that's really hard to fathom. It's so large and you can't quantify service of this kind. There are things that you can quantify related to service. You know, if you're running a program, you can say, how many people did we feed today or something like that. But if we broaden our definition of service, not every way of being of service is going to be quantifiable or legible in that way, measurable. And yet it's still of impact. It still is of benefit. It still serves other people. So I think it's really worth looking at this. What do we understand service to be? How are our actions impacting other people? Are there ways we're already being of benefit to others and the world that may seem small or weird or illegible? And just really sitting with that and honoring that so that we can expand our definition of what service is to, I think, a more accurate definition of, hey, I'm, I'm benefiting people, even in these small or incalculable ways, ways that are hard to explain to other people, maybe they are of benefit, we see that they're of benefit. And I believe that this process can really internally inspire us to be of more and more benefit with our lives and uh, help the world more in that way. So curious to hear what you think about all this. Would love to see any comments and wishing you well, friends. Take care.